Hey guys, so I think I'm done with this journal. So look at how it's looking. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. I don't even know what to do with it. I mean, I saw that Dina Wakeley's journal is just as chunky. So yeah, but I have never had such a journal. <laughs> And I totally love it so uh, if you haven't seen on my channel there I think just like in the last I don't know month or two or something I posted a, a share video of my watercolor journal and it's totally 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 different so this was for me a very new uh, style of uh, art journaling and I actually kind of learned as I um, as I created this journal so you know some things I just I just stuck stuff down and it looks well not great and then as I was uh, creating more and more and more um, I really felt like I was getting the groove of it and learning more what was working and what wasn't so um, yeah, it, it's like a totally such a great learning experience and I loved working in this journal. I started this probably over a year ago or maybe a year ago. So some of these are very, uh, some of the pages are uh, old, like a year old or something. And then, uh, but most of it was made in the last weeks. So... Let's start. I'm not sure about the cover. I think I will leave it plain. I kind of like it plain, so I think it'll stay like that. Um, so this is how it started. It started with a very, um, like, more simple watercolor playtime. And and then, just gradually, I, I was just watching... Uh, Dina's videos and I decided okay I can do something more with this um, especially because you know there are materials here this journal it's her um, mixed media journal it's called I'm not sure but it has this watercolor paper it has burlap it has canvas and it has craft so um, especially like well, besides the watercolor paper, mixed media paper, these don't really work well. The other surfaces, they don't really work well with watercolor. And I am totally, or until I started working on this journal in the last weeks, I was very much into just watercolors, mostly using watercolors in my art journaling. So I, because of this journal, I kind of had to step out of that comfort zone and uh, I'm really glad I did. So I'm sorry I'm talking a lot, but <clears throat> let's just get to it. And <laughs> so there are a lot of layers, and I think I'll do a separate video with my most used products to create this look. Um, so this was a very simple uh, flower sketch, um, and this was also um, kind of a quick watercolor thing, and I used a lot of the PH Martins radiant concentrated watercolors um, and I use them throughout this journal mostly in my mini misters so I create my own ink sprays using these and here I just started to add stuff so at the beginning I felt like I was just adding like random stuff without really thinking about it or knowing what I was doing and a few of the pages are like what what's going on here and they don't feel finished like this is not finished uh, it doesn't feel finished to me but i'm kind of i'm i'm kind of ready to let this journal go and start <laughs> with the uh, with the other one i don't mean start because i have already done like some stuff in it so it's not um it's already started so this, I think I have a process video for these magnolias. This is also from like a year ago. And then we start to get messy. So I really find with the canvas 
that um, it just works well for me mostly with when I add like stuff on top of it I'm even though this was fun to paint directly on it um, I just prefer these for adding like layers on top of them so yeah this is to me like completely unfinished but I don't know if I I think I'm kind of over this and this I really like. This was kind of things were starting to come together, I felt, here. Um, I love all this messy, all this texture. If you have uh, glassine bags, oh my gosh, they're fantastic <laughs> for using like with spray mists and everything. The texture is just lovely. So this was another older um, spread that I didn't feel like I wanted to touch it. Maybe I will one day. Um, not my favorite. <laughs> Another, I don't know what's going on here page. This is also like, just feels like a huge mishmash. Uh, things start to come together the more I, yeah, the more I practiced. What can I say? So... This is some uh, Tomoe River paper. It's also fantastic to use in your art journal. I really, really enjoyed using it. Uh, this is some black gesso, and it's the Dina Wakely one, and it is gorgeous, gorgeously black and gorgeous to paint on top of. So here I also brought in, I brought a lot of like my scrapbook supplies, which was really great. These are like super, super old basic gray stickers and you'll see them in another page here and I was really happy to get to use them. So I just had so much fun making this. So here I combined, this is my own uh, drawing and then this is some uh, printables from Wilna Furstenberg and then here I have a bit more of the Tamori River paper and I'll just show you how, I mean, the texture is just <laughs> lovely. <laughs> love that and I also used on a lot of the pages the white uh, dilution spray you can see it here and here I mean look how amazing that looks on the black gesso I love that so I think I'll just do a must-have products video separately so lots of uh, faces I really enjoyed making faces some were really bad so <laughs> I covered them <laughs> This is a Jane Davenport, um, you know, one of her like napkins type of things that she had. And this one I also really, really enjoyed making. And yeah, here, I think here things really started to come together. I was finding my groove, finding the um, like more attractive ways of adding layers and ephemera. Um, really using colors that you know I really love and it's like such a mishmash of stuff there's like this is my drawing and then there are some dilutions stamps and stickers some scrapbook supplies this ice cream also great I smeared it so this is like um, a clear sticker so I guess things didn't dry properly and yeah I just love all the texture um, it's these are like some of my printables from um, from January uh, these are more of my printables and I think I have a process video for this and this also I think I kind of worked on these at the same time so again the Tamori River paper oh my gosh so so gorgeous some scrapbooking supplies this is one of my favorite spreads in the whole journal um, Honestly, I think I need to go back and watch the videos because I don't know how I got these gorgeous color effects, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah. This was really fun. I think it has something to do with the fact that this is gessoed. So that's bad news because I hate gessoing <laughs> my papers, but I think it gives you like really gorgeous effects. So I don't know what we'll have to do. Some pattern papers. I loved using pattern papers, stickers, and printables, and 
pattern papers and scraps like this was just a watercolor strip that I had with different colors. Uh, some more layers and stickers on top of like my own drawings, a doily. I really like to wrap like wrap things around the pages. I did that several times here. Um, these were leftover stamped images from my last um, Doctors Are In series. Uh, this is some more Tamori River paper that I glued, I think, with gesso. I need to show that. I'll, I'll try to make more videos. I'll make more videos. I won't try. I'll make more. Uh, this, again, I really, really love because this is like a color explosion. Uh, look how fantastic the... The, these are the dilutions paints, I'm pretty certain, how they look on glassine bags. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and here I used some of the Jane Davenport, um, her mermaid markers with the shimmer. So look how shimmery that is. And this is definitely unfinished. Uh, this is another one with the basic gray stickers. I think the collection was called Kissing Booth. I think it was like a Valentine's collection from years and years ago. Um, again, using my printables here, just a little piece of my printable, and then the rest is like hand-drawn. Lots of layers, some more printables here. Uh, this was using a stencil uh, from Jane Davenport. And then just lots of layers and there's a tag that I kind of collaged her um, one of her collage papers Jane Davenport that is see here I could probably add something but I don't know what this is uh, Vilna Freistenberg printables from one of her classes these are some more of the collage papers from Jane Davenport this is unfinished stuff now here I don't know why, but I cut the the signatures are kind of stuck together here where the uh, craft paper meets. So I cut mine and that wasn't a clever decision. So I'll have to glue it back, which I'm okay with because these pages, maybe I'll just glue it here because I'm not very attached to these. So this is actually, I show how to create this. Uh, in my um, new kill a kit class and it's just using scrapbooking stuff this is a great paper llama <laughs> and here I had some simple sketches with um, pen and watercolors very um, kind of cleaner minimalistic compared to the other stuff in the journal this is very unfinished what's with those lips I don't know I kind of want to paint all over it. Uh, this is also in my uh, Kill a Kit class. Also using uh, s like scrappy supplies. Using them in my art journal. This is a Dina Wakely stamp, which I totally love. And another one of her stamps here. This is a Vilna Furstenberg printable and Dina Wakely stamps. This is um, my one of my uh, images in my February printables for my patrons on Patreon. And I just loved making this. This came together super fast. And here I was really having fun with the scribble sticks. And then these last couple of things, maybe I can add a few like word stickers here. These I really made in the last um, two days, days and a day and a half, something like that. And a kind of ready, ready to let this journal go. And that's the last page. I adhered some of my printables here on Tamoe River paper to the back of the um, cover. And that's it. Just had so, so much fun with this journal. I can't tell you, like, I can't express that <laughs> enough. It was really, really fun. So thanks for watching. Bye.